Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Zoe. I'm a language enthusiast who speaks seven languages. At the same time, I'm doing a PhD in sociology in France. You can check out my videos speaking in different languages on my channel. Today, I'm very, very happy to make this video with my Turkish friend, Hilal. Merhaba. Hilal, introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Hilal, uh, 21 years old. I like learning new cultures and languages, and I'm happy to be here with Zoe too. Today, we are gonna deal with the language exchange. Actually, we have been practicing Turkish and French for about one year and a half. Yes. I still remember at the beginning we were only speaking several words. words. Yeah, after one year and mm -hmm. a half, now we can have a conversation. We really have improved a lot. I can say this is the best way to practice with the native, native spe speakers. Yeah, native speakers freely, freely. But to be honest, the language learning is not just about chatting. But it depends on the people, of course. You can yes. you can you can just chat, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I what I want to say is that there are a lot of methods and strategies which can make this kind of exercise more effective. For example, how to find a good language exchange partner, like like mm -hmm. Hilal, <laughs> and how to organize our study session, mm -hmm. how to send each other notes, and how to review, how to encourage, how to help each other. There are some tips and tricks as well. This is what we're gonna share with you guys today. We're gonna talk briefly about our story, how mm -hmm. we met each other, how we study with each other mm -hmm. in French and Turkish. And so you guys can have a look what we have achieved uh, <laughs> with this beautiful exchange. We will be sharing with you all the methods we use in language exchange in more detailed possible. So let's get into the video. So let's talk about how we met each other. He like okay. you start in French. Okay. <laughs> I can do mistakes, okay. But it's normal. You can still correct me in the video too. Of course, we okay. are not perfect in both yes. languages. We, I, I think we just have an intermediate yeah, yeah inter, intermediate pandemic. level. Yeah, since pandemic one year and a half. So go yes. ahead, go ahead. Okay. D'abord, je suis pas une polyglot. Okay. Oui. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> je suis juste uh, intéressée par la langue et culture. Euh, avant de prendre demi, j'ai pris euh, un cours en, en université. Mm -hmm. <rire> euh, mais c'est juste euh, de base. Oui, c'est juste pour découvrir. Pour décou oui. découvrir comme ça. Pendant la pandémie, je me suis dit pourquoi je n'ai pas euh, continué à apprendre cette langue. Mm -hmm. J'ai commencé à étudier moi-même. Mm -hmm. Après, j'ai téléchargé l'application. Mm -hmm. J'ai envoyé beaucoup de messages pour trouver quelqu'un qui est sérieux. Et après, j'ai <rire> en fait, vu ton profil, uh -huh. Zoe. Et j'ai envoyé un message. Et heureusement, on a étudié ensemble. Uh -huh. Tu peux continuer un truc? <rire> Hı -hı. Ben de o zaman da çok mesaj attım. Evet. Her zaman ciddi bir şey bulmak istiyordum. Evet. Ve bu yüzden yani mesajda ciddi bir şekilde ve net bir şekilde yazdım. Mesela ben Zoe Türkçe öğrenmeyi istiyorum. Ciddi bir yere dünzeliyle Türkçe çalışmayı istiyorum. Mesela sana İngilizce, Fransızca ve Çince yardım edebildim. Hı -hı. Yani böyle mesajı çok çok Hı -hı. çok attım. Hamdura sonunda <gülüyor> Hilal ile tanıştım. Video alamak yaptık ve çok iyi geçti. <gülüyor> ve benim için sadece yani dil pratik etmek için de iyi. Ama iyi bir insan, iyi bir <gülüyor> arkadaşıyla <gülüyor> tanıştık. Evet. Ve güzel, güzel, evet, güzel. Evet. Bu kadar. Bu kadar, bu kadar. İngilizce, okay. There are a lot of our friends wrote to me. They say that Zoe is very difficult to find a language learning partner. Yes. Yeah, it is. <laughs> because, you know, people use this kind of platform for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Some people, they just want to meet, they just want to chat, or they're just curious. They just want mm -hmm. to discover different cultures. And But we are here to tell you there are still people like us <laughs> yes. who are serious about language learning yes. and but you know it did take a bit of time to it really is, to find it, someone it, yeah. yes and it's okay for chatting people in that language but i mean studying seriously is really helpful for mm. being more professional and yeah. motivated too because you have like someone who studied regularly so yeah it's 
for me it keeps me very Do you know how many messages I've sent before I found you? I, I sent many messages too. You? I was saying, I can help you Turkish people who are saying, oh, I want to learn Turkish. But I don't know whether they really want to learn Turkish. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My point is like from my experience, I always write clearly my message mm -hmm. to make it clear, to tell you, okay, uh, I want to do the video call, I want to study regularly, if you have time, we can make it, I can help you in these, these, these languages, yeah. I still remember your first voice note. Really? Yeah, I sent a message, I, I can help for Turkish and I want to practice French, and you sent me voice note, okay, I'm, uh, I don't have much time. <laughs> I don't know much yes, time. If you really want to study regularly, we can. No, it's not my attitude. Oh, I was like, yes. hi, hi. It's good. I said, yes, I found that fun. I want I someone want. like you and help. I mean, it's not a bad way, but what I mean is you were serious. I got it in I'm first message. Serious. Guys, I'm very serious. <laughs> you were serious. People always ask me when should we start to do the language exchange? Mm. From my experience, um, I always prefer to study a bit by myself to have a basic structure of the grammar, some basic vocabulary. Mm -hmm. At least I can already speak some basic things mm -hmm. with you and you can correct me, especially in pronunciation and in the grammar, how to make sentences. I don't really recommend you to find a language exchange partner from the scratch. Mm -hmm. You know, a language exchange partner is not a language teacher. Sometimes a native speaker, they can't teach you their language. Mandarin Chinese is my mother tongue. I can correct your pronunciation, the tone, but I can't teach you how to write Hanzi. I can't explain you a lot of a grammar points. So you need to work for it. Yeah, so yeah, you need to you different. need to learn by yourself or for example there are a lot of uh, structure books. How do you think about this? Yes, I agree. I did the same. Mm -hmm. I learned some basic French vocabulary first, mm -hmm. but I think let's say someone find a really good person for mm -hmm. practicing and that person teaches that, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But like it's not just relying on that person. Exactly. We need self-study more. Exactly. At the beginning, we were at the beginner level. We couldn't mm -hmm. speak a lot of things, so we did the exercise. We did a lot of a translation exercises. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yes, because our level, it, we are we were lucky for having, having almost same level uh -huh. too. Like A one. Yes. <laughs> A one. Uh, so because we don't, we didn't have much vocabulary. Mm -hmm. uh, we clarify a topic for mm -hmm. talk mm -hmm. and just so we, some sentences we translate. If I say something in French, you need to say that sentence in Turkish and same for me. Mm -hmm. So we started with translation, mm -hmm. but right now we don't need. It. There is a trick to sending each other notes. Mm -hmm. At that time, we you all are good at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm more organized. Yes. yes, we always talk mm -hmm. on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. And then, for example, if I say something wrong with my pronunciation or wrong grammar, mm -hmm. you will just she will just send it back to me on the WhatsApp, so I can see the correction. And I will send her back in French. So we will have basically a word in Turkish and a word in French. Because after our video call, I can copy directly mm -hmm. this note into an Excel. Mm -hmm. For example, I will have a Turkish and French. Then mm -hmm. I will send it to you again to, to check everything. And she can send me back with the voice note. So mm -hmm. I can repeat, I can, uh, I can know, for example, uh, this, pronunci this word, I always make the pronunciation mm -hmm. mistakes, yes. Yes, so reviewing after the classes. Yeah, yeah. Even I didn't do much, but it's so helpful mm -hmm. for doing it. Sending notes like this, I think is quite so efficient. It's not just chatting, chatting. No, no. Yes, but because we are doing mistakes, naturally so, being aware of those mistakes. Uh -huh. I'm still doing the same mistakes in French, uh -huh. but I'm aware of my mistakes. So it's, yeah. it's, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And because we were sending those notes, I know my mistakes more. Yeah, yeah. Like so it's this. important to send each other notes mm -hmm. and then to, because this is a bit my personality. I always prefer to organize all notes after our call. For not forget them. Yeah, and, and put it into my Anki so I can review. Mm -hmm. There is another exercise I really like at the beginner level. It's a verb conjugation exercise. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Okay, yes. Because verbs are so important because we are talking with verbs, actions. So I start, I always focused on learning verbs more. like. Uh, we are talking with verbs, so we did many exercises for conjugation, 
Mm -hmm. But while doing this conjugation, Zoe or me didn't teach like how to conjugate the verb. We already no. studied it, mm -hmm. then we just practice it. So I think by making sentences, yes, yeah. yeah, we shouldn't accept that like this person mm -hmm. can gonna teach me everything. Mm -hmm. It's self studying and we do just practice. For example, we are doing the language exchange now. Mm -hmm. uh, today we're gonna deal with the future tense, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say one sentence, yemek, okay, mm -hmm. to eat. So I'm gonna say, uh, tonight I'm gonna eat dinner with my friend, okay? Bu akşam arakadaşla akşam yemek yiyeceğim. Bravo, evet. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you have okay. to translate it into um, French. Uh, je vais manger, je vais manger le dîner uh -huh. avec mon ami. Mm -hmm. Avec mon ami ce soir. Avec mon ami ce soir. Encore une fois. Je vais manger le dîner avec mon ami ce soir. So at the beginning level, since we couldn't talk a lot, we did a lot of translation exercises. Mm -hmm. We corrected each other's pronunciation and we did a lot of a verb conjugation exercises by making sentences we learned a lot of a new words it by making what by making sentences you can learn words by yourself there are a lot of word lists online mm -hmm. but the most important is that you have to use it you have to in context yes in context you have to make sentence that mm -hmm. related to your life if you have an intermediate level Basically, you can talk about yourself, you can talk about your daily routine. I like this exercise. Yes. Every day is like, did you do it? Did you do it? You can do it. Like, we were using past simple and future simple, uh -huh. both for like our plans and what did we do like mm -hmm. this. It helped a lot. Yes. for reviewing verbs too yeah so for this part i think it's not just about one person for example you are talking about you are talking talking talking i'm mm -hmm. listening and i correct you we have to know how to ask each other questions as well mm -hmm. for example uh of course she can talk about her routine all the time mm -hmm. okay uh she she woke up for example and then she ate breakfast but we can add some details every time mm -hmm. to make new topic. For example, if she said that uh, uh, tu, tu, tu as pris petit déjeuner and mm -hmm. I can ask uh, qu'est-ce que tu as mangé dans ton, ton petit déjeuner? Mm -hmm. Comment tu as fait ton petit déjeuner? Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, what, what did you eat? How did you make your breakfast? Every time we can bring a new topic. For asking questions, it's like more, I think, leads to more natural conversation mm -hmm. it's not like you're talking talking mm -hmm. conversation means we need questions yes and it's more uh, spontaneous so we are learning talking more spontaneously too. it's not memorizing because mm -hmm. you don't know which question you're gonna ask i don't know yeah yes of course we don't have time to make mm -hmm. video call all the time sometimes mm -hmm. we are busy for our exams for mm -hmm. example uh we still keep testing each other we like try best we will say Giselle, today i don't have time to make the deep, uh, video call you can send me you always say mm -hmm. you can tell me what you did today with mm -hmm. a very short voice message mm -hmm. sometimes just take us like one or two minutes mm -hmm. and but i i like it yes, yes. We try to study regularly as much yeah. as we can. Even we can't make the video call, we're still yeah. sending each other this kind yes. of a voice note. Maybe it's a good idea for you. Yes. Ah, there's another exercise, Juno. You know, I have a habit to write Juno in mm -hmm. different languages. So sometimes I write some short Juno just to mm -hmm. tell her what I did today, some thoughts, and yes. then I send it to her, she corrects me. Yes. yes, and songs too, I remember. Yeah. We were sending songs that can be like, have useful words. Yes. So we were talking about songs too. Anyway, like we this. did a lot of things. <laughs> yes. Guys, you just have to be creative. So let's talk about how can you find more topics. Mm -hmm. It's not just about talking random routines. Sometimes After a certain level. Yes, yes, yes. We can mm. go deeper. We can go further. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. I think. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we were lucky, we are still lucky to having the same interest. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's easier to find topics like we, I'm not thinking oh, what I'm going to talk with you. Like it's, it happens yeah. naturally. But for some people, I think they can just search for what they like. Let's say they like about art and history. They can search that topic in mm -hmm. their target language and they can just talk about that and that person ask questions. So it's in natural way it's like there are many topics to talk and examples on youtube and everywhere mm -hmm, exactly for example yeah. we all love reading mm -hmm. so every time she say I, I ask her what do you do 
today, yesterday. She said, oh, I, I read a book and I say, what's that book about? Mm -hmm. And this is a good topic. Actually, mm -hmm. I did the same thing. So he, she, she said that I've watched a YouTube video and I would ask her to describe me mm -hmm. that video in French. Uh, I, I think this yeah, is a very I, good exercise. The key is, I think, asking questions. Like, it's not about whether like, you are really interested, but you need to ask for that person to uh you know practicing yeah it's like like you're asking really curious sometimes but asking is better for yeah. any practicing yeah. yeah it is so we are trying to give you guys mm -hmm. some ideas <laughs> and inspiration and be creative mm -hmm. guys there are a lot of topics we can talk about sometimes if i study by myself for mm -hmm. example today i study a chapter about the education mm -hmm. uh, i've learned a lot of words about education i will tell hilal today i want to talk about the talk about this topic education mm -hmm. so let's talk about how's the education system in france mm -hmm. and in china in turkey let's talk about this topic yes, yes, yes. Yes. I, I ask many questions about china about, about France, France yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's like it's so good to using languages for learning new things. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. This is why we are learning language. Yes. Yeah. To be honest, I think language exchange it depends a lot of things. You know, it's mm -hmm. like a, just like a one way to practice language. It's not the only way to practice language. Not the only way to improve your speaking mm -hmm. skill. There are still a lot of exercises you can do. Like for example, speaking with yourself, like uh, repeating, like a shadowing, thinking, in that thinking language, shadowing. Right thing. They are all very good exercises. It doesn't mean that okay, you study with a language body. You don't study by yourself. You have to. This is just one exercise we yes. really have to do several things together mm -hmm. and really to find the best method and yeah for like i think it depends on the like why you learn that language your goal. yeah exactly so for both of us because our goal uh, is communication mm -hmm. so it's mostly based on talking but it's back to the colloquial people, yeah in colloquial. a colloquial way sometimes yeah. it happens a lot like when we translate some sentence i'm saying okay in turkish we don't say in that way we are saying in that way in yeah. french too yeah so but for some people it's maybe just for academic or like they were just they yeah, want to just yeah. read some articles yeah, yeah, so yeah. it depends your language exchange partner what what that person want it depends your like it affects your language uh, in study the, program mm, too yes yes so this is the end of the video i hope you guys find this video helpful if you are doing language exchange or want to do so maybe you can find some ideas from this video if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to my channel. So, see you soon guys. Bye!